It's 50 years this September since Mothercare was launched in the midst of the baby boom of the 1960s. Retrospective research shows just how parenting has changed. Today, more women than ever are returning to work after having a baby, and nearly a fifth of families are now being led by lone parents, which has significantly shifted the family dynamic, from getting around with the kids to accessing advice at their fingertips. Life for the modern parent has evolved considerably over the past half a century since 1961. The life stages were very, very different then. You know, people didn't have cars like they have today. Um, so the actual products were like coach-built prams. We didn't offer things like strollers that we have today. I had a rather cumbersome push chair. To get to work, I had to get the child ready, get to a bus stop, manage to get the bus the pushchair on the bus and then off after the journey, walk to my mother's and then get another bus and then reverse that. When people were um, having a baby, in, in, if they were working and they were having a baby, they would actually leave work on before they had the baby and they probably wouldn't return to work, whereas now they do return to work um, after you know six months or a year. I'd say one of the most important uh, changes is safety aspects. When, when I had uh, my first child, well, we eventually got a car and you just put the baby or the child in the back. Car seats, which is now a legal requirement when you take out the baby from hospital, that didn't exist in the 60s. So the lifestyle and, and the products we sell is very, very different um, than what we have to offer today. I think nowadays, in 2011, the main challenges facing parents that life is so incredibly hectic and busy. You've got to balance work um, with parenting. About two thirds of mothers now do go back to work and a quarter of those will be working full time. I think every working mum um, life is a bit of a juggling act. Uh, I definitely find myself um, rushing from an important meeting to the school to try and fit in the school play or um, the show and tell or whatever it is, something at the school. And certainly when you're on maternity leave, the one question you always get asked is when are you going back? When are you, are you going back to work? You know, are you going to return to your job? And so really you can't get away from it. The pressure's there. The way children are brought into this world is, is very different now. You've got nearly one in five families being a lone parent family. You have um, a real um, extreme of some grandparents being incredibly involved in the parenting of their grandchildren, both financially and through care, and then other families that are very um, alone and do not have that support network of family around them. I think lots of mums that I know now um, move away from their family, move away from their parents, move away from aunties and uncles. Um, that support network that, that was around when our mums were bringing us up or our grandmothers were bringing us up um, isn't there anymore basically because we, we've all moved away, we've all moved to different towns. So we see the fast growth in internet um, access, uh, mobile access with one in eight uh, mums um, accessing the web by the mobile. Um, I think all of these factors will give more information to families in a, in a, in a sort of quicker, faster manner. You can go on and get reassurance from thousands of other mums at the same time who all say, yep, yeah, don't worry, that, my child did that, or that's exactly what happened to me when I was pregnant. Um, so again, it's just having that level of reassurance. For generations, obviously families have been having babies and bringing up families. Um, but there's key anxiety points on that journey that um, people of, often are looking for solutions to help support them with. And all of these anxieties, they haven't changed over the years. They are the same issues. Um, the solutions to them may have changed as technologies have refined and our knowledge has refined, um, but they're the same issues that parents face today as they did previously. And I think one of the really important things to remember is that there's no right or wrong way to parent. And whatever feels right and natural for you, it, is what you should do and Mother Care will always be there to offer advice and services to help you on your journey.